Good morning. I saw something very disturbing uh, when it comes to this Kendrick and Drake back and forth. What's up with y'all? What's up with y'all? Welcome back to Moxie Approved. Man, this Kendrick and Drake beef has went to new heights. This beef has been bringing out a lot of creativity from the artists. I'm not even going to lie. Metro Boomin, the one that Drake told, go and make some drums. He actually made some drums. And he made a song called BBL Drizzy. BBL Drizzy. BBL Drizzy. I'm thinking of this nigga. I'm thinking of your ninja. Don't act like you don't know me. These hammers are a trophy. Baby, it ain't no mystery. Got the best BBL in history. This cake will make you show up. I know you've seen this glow up. as BBL Drizzy. BBL Drizzy. It's no longer about the music, folks. I don't know if you pay attention, but it's no longer about the views. It's became a cultural thing. And this displays itself much more recently when DJ Vlad has pretty much been going viral, not just for some tweets he put out, but for the way that he's handling it. Now this whole fiasco started off on Twitter when DJ Vlad tweeted, Kendrick's Not Like Us needed a better mix. It takes away from the song. Now, a lot of people such as myself look at that as, that's just a way of you hating on Kendrick Lamar. I mean, we all know that DJ Vlad is a failed DJ, and it's okay. I failed at some things in my life. Listen, I know about music, and it didn't take away from that song at all. It just seemed like it was a cheap shot. Well, a woman that goes by the name of Morgan Jenkins, she tweeted out, you are white. This is a black folk affair. To a lot of people, this is just opinions. It's an innocent tweet back and forth. But Vlad takes this to a whole different level. He was obviously really hurt about this tweet. He goes and says, wait, so a professor at Princeton is telling me that a white person shouldn't be allowed to voice their opinion about hip hop. Is that how you interact with your students? Yeah, that's right. He's coming off on the Karen mode, but it doesn't stop there. Morgan says, what I'm saying is that you put your opinion in a discussion that is not needed. This conversation is and should center black people, not you. So then DJ Vlad comes back and says, don't try to change your words now. I'll be reaching out to Princeton about this on Monday. Very Karen like over some tweets. Morgan replies, semester's over and my contract has been completed, but thanks for trying to bully me out of a job for centering black people because you got your feelings hurt. Very retaliatory, huh? Nice tactic. DJ Vlad responds, it's called permanent record. Every university has one. I went to Berkeley myself. People spew ignorant and bigoted comments at you publicly and then act like they're getting bullied when, they're, when they get a response. Typical victim mentality. Go ahead and take that. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It seems like the first person to take a victim mentality off of this was you, DJ Vlad. Just for her telling you that we don't really want to hear your opinion and nobody cares because this battle, which I also agree, has really became a black folk thing. The problem is, is that Drake, uh, as an international artist, a lot of people look at him as a culture vulture. And he's brung in a lot of people into hip hop that really don't know hip hop. So when they give their opinions on this, a lot of it is a bunch of nonsense. This African dude told me online that Kendrick lost because he said that Drake is Malibu's most wanted and that he looked up in Malibu and Drake isn't wanted out there. Now, that's what I'm saying. You don't even understand that Malibu's most wanted is a damn movie, right? So a lot of these comments concerning the whole Kendrick and Drake when it comes from people outside of the culture, they really don't know what they're talking about. And that's really the root and center of what this beef has become. Morgan Jerkins did not stop. Sweetheart, before I was a professor at Princeton, I graduated from Princeton. What are you really saying? And DJ Vlad says, good luck being a professor at Princeton again. I doubt the university supports their faculty telling non-black students to shut the fuck up about anything hip hop related because of their skin color. Well, she's not on the clock right now. And this woman does have an opinion. Now, what I wanna say about this is I'm very proud of my community and I'm very proud of Kendrick Lamar. We didn't have no meeting on this. We heard some of the lyrics that Kendrick Lamar was spewing and we knew what he was doing and we knew the point that he was trying to make. It's a lot of culture vultures. I mean, he called Drake a colonizer, which I would like to agree with. The man is a colonizer. And he did that 
in the midst of talking about the history of Atlanta, it was brilliantly crafted. It was brilliantly crafted. FBA, we had no meeting on this. We just heard what he did and we stayed on cold. And this went further on TikTok. Man, they drilling DJ Vlad on TikTok. Take a look at this. But wait, before we go too far, please do me one small favor, hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, apply pressure to that subscribe button. Yes, apply pressure to that subscribe button. Good morning. I saw something very disturbing uh, when it comes to this Kendrick and Drake back and forth. And it has nothing to do with Kendrick and Drake. So if you're familiar with DJ Vlad, who built a career off of black culture and he is not black, he decided to attack a black woman's job because she told him this is a black space. No, but seriously, DJ Vlad literally got mad because she said, you are white, this is a black folk affair. And he decided to start tagging Princeton, where she works, and says that he's going to reach out to them on Monday because she told him this is a black folk affair. That's it. She didn't call him out his name. She didn't call him any racial slurs. Nothing. She said, this is a black folk affair. And he decides to go after her job. This man built a career off of black culture. He is not black. And he feels uncomfortable. He feels attacked because he is being told by someone in a culture he does not belong to. is saying that this ain't for you. Stay out of it. Now, historically speaking in this country, Black people existing in black spaces at some point was illegal. Black gatherings, black whisperings, black tradition, all were illegal in this country to the point that white violence was allowed to thrive whenever black people existed in black spaces. And so what does black do? He becomes his ancestors wildest dreams and decides to attack a black woman who said this is a black space. It's a very colonizer thing to do. I truly hope that hip hop artists are paying attention to what this man is doing because he is a guest into black culture. He is not of black culture and he is trying to get a black woman fired for talking about her culture and saying, this is our space. This is not for you to chime in. This is our space. That's all she said. And he feels the punishment for saying that you do not exist in our space is to get her fired. That's extreme, but yes, I truly hope you black artists stop going to Vlad. Do not go where you are not celebrated, but tolerated. I want to point out that most people who think like Vlad don't do this to other cultures, but mainly black. This guy named DJ Vlad, he, he, he does, he never meant these rappers and all these other magically melanated aka black people that go on their, on his show, on his podcast. He never meant them any good anyway. He gets them on there to snitch on themselves. He actually loves to perpetuate controversy and continue to gaslight us against one another because we're the only one he's uh, infatuated with. He's built the whole career in wealth and success and popularity off of black people coming on his podcast and making him relevant. When all he does is attach himself to things that we do in our controversies and is really helping further the destruction of our community and he assists but we continue to go on there and talk to him i don't watch this show so we need to start lashing out at the black artists and black people who come to go on this show to help them out who show that they don't care about us as a whole they just care about themselves because he's trying to get this system fired because he don't respect her opinion when he's in the opinion business. You see what happens when you hype people up such as DJ Vlad in the culture. Never liked him, so I'm a hater. But you invite him in the culture and he gets so comfortable. And someone tries to correct him and now he's threatening to contact that lady's university. She said this is black people business because honestly, this is black people business. And he said, what are you talking about? So just because I'm white, I can't be in the business. That's clearly not what she meant. She meant you're trying to center your whiteness in our space right now. This is a hip hop moment. This will go down in history of one of hip hop's greatest moments. And you talking about their beats weren't mixed and mastered correctly. Hush up for once and mind your business. And now you're talking about racism and you're gonna contact that lady's university and get her fired? This is why when a certain demographic opens their mouth to things that does not 
has nothing to do with them. It's very upsetting and it's very weird. But y'all will sit there on his couch and divulge secrets knowing that that man is the feds. Now one thing about it, this is not hypocritical. We are keeping the same energy and DJ Vlad should notice himself. You wanna know why? Look at the war that's going on in Israel and Palestine. Most of us who are not in college, we haven't been speaking on it. We have been minding our business. We haven't been putting ourselves in the middle of it. And it's people like DJ Vlad that are pretty upset about this. Drake is the most famous Jewish person on earth. Khaled is the most famous Palestinian in the world. But neither one of them has said anything about this at all. Now, this is not the first time DJ Vlad has been called upon as far as the FBA community at being canceled. But what it really comes down to is these artists. These artists keep giving him business and there's nothing we can do about that. But we do have power. I don't watch DJ Vlad videos, man. I don't. For years, people have been talking about how DJ Vlad has put some of these same artists in jail. He has created a platform that get these artists locked up. One of my favorite battle rappers even spoke on it. Sue Surf. You got a couple niggas indicted. No, I didn't get anybody indicted. You got a couple niggas. I didn't get a single indicted. person indicted. Who did I get indicted? Who did I get indicted? I, I ain't about to get, open another indictment on who you indicted. But these YouTubers, these artists, they all drooling at the mouth to get a chance to be on DJ Blast's platform. And to be honest with you, I don't see his platform getting taken down or I don't see him getting canceled on this. But he should. Not just because of this, but because of all the other... Man, this man tried to get Farrakhan out of here. Farrakhan. So now I find out that he tried to get one of our elites, the minister, Farrakhan, to do his show, and Farrakhan didn't do the show. And he felt some kind of way about that. So he has... And somebody sent me this video where they backing up everything they said. Vlad misquoted the minister and i feel like he did it intentionally because vlad gets in his feelings when you get to talking about his people and i want to say this in case vlad is watching your people are the dirtbag hollywood running motherfuckers so when we speak up for our community it's a problem right it's on y'all fba don't click on his videos and don't support artists that goes to his platform. I've been like that. I can't remember the last time I looked at a DJ Vlad video unless I was going to use it for a reference. And then you got to put all kind of stuff on it because he'll strike you. Small channel, big channel, it don't matter. He'll strike you, right? A lot of hypocritical actions going on here with DJ Vlad. The unfortunate thing is, is he has the machine behind him. But we have power. We just have to utilize it. But you tell me what you think about this in the comment section. I think it's very petty that just because someone telling him that he's not a part of the culture, that he wants to get them fired from their job. I've been seeing all around online that people are getting. This is about our culture and getting rid of the culture vultures. We can't stop them from listening to our music and all that, but they're real quick to tell us that we don't have no culture. I don't, I'm sorry, I can't do Americans. I need somebody with culture, I'm sorry. I'm black, sorry. Black, black Americans got- Then when something that's from our culture goes viral. They want to participate in it, give their opinions. Look, don't be reluctant to tell them, don't nobody care. But you tell me what you think on this matter. I think we have a lot of power that we're not utilizing. Well, anyways, you know how we liked in our videos over here at Moxie Approved, right? With that water. I'll see y'all here next time on Moxie Approved.